Hi there, my name is Mr. Coit and in this video we will prove that the direct delta function operates like an even function, which is an important characteristic. This characteristic can be expressed in the following way. So delta x minus xi is equal to delta xi minus x. So let's prove this characteristic. For the proof we will use integration. And before we actually start, let's make the following remark, which is related to the translation property which says that for any continuous function fx, it holds that fx is equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity over fx null times delta x minus x null dx null. Now for ease, let's introduce a helper variable s. And s is defined as the difference between x null and x, so x null minus x. And thus, if we rewrite this, we have that x null is equal to x plus s, and that ds is equal to dx null. This is because the first derivative of s with respect to x null is equal to 1. Now let's consider the following integral. So the integral from minus infinity to infinity over fx null times delta x null minus x dx null is equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity over fx plus s times delta s ds. So what we have done here is replace x null by x plus s. We've replaced x null minus x by s and we have changed the integration from integrating over the variable x null to integrating over s. Now from this integral we have to note that delta s will only be non-zero if s equals zero. Therefore as a non-zero output we will have that fx plus s will just be fx because s is equal to zero in this case. So the output of the integral will be fx. Now, if we apply formula 1 again, so the translation property, from this we know that fx is equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity over fx null times delta x minus x null dx null. And thus, we know that the integral from minus infinity to infinity over fx null times delta x null minus x dx null is equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity over fx null times delta x minus x null dx null. So from this equality, we know that there's only one difference, namely that the variables x null and x are interchanged. Therefore, it must hold that delta x null minus x and delta x minus x null are equal. And that's what we had to prove. So QED. So that's the proof. If you thought this was useful, make sure to hit the thumbs up to give this video a like. If you still have any questions, please make sure to use the comment section. And if you want to see more of Mr. Code, please make sure to subscribe. So stay cool. Bye.